Hey, this is Charles Henson with Nashville Computer. In this video, I'm going to show you how to back up your MacBook Pro and then format it. The reason you might want to do this is maybe you're giving the laptop away or maybe it's gotten corrupted and you want to back up all your data on it and just reset it back to factory. So the first thing you'll want to do is obtain an external USB hard drive. You'll simply place this onto a secure table and insert the USB cable into the side of the laptop. Once it's in, you'll want to click on the Time Machine button icon at the very top of the screen. If you've used your My Passport and it has a password, it may prompt you to type in that password. Once you type in the password, you'll click on Unlock and then click on the Time Machine window and choose Backup Now. Now while this is backing up, one of the things that you can do is click back on the Time Machine and choose Enter Time Machine. What this does is it will actually take you into the Time Machine window that allows you to see your historical backups that have taken place on this external hard drive so that you know that your data is there. It's always a good thing to do and test even after you're done with the, this final backup. Once we're out of that window, we can choose Cancel, click on the Time Machine window, and then choose Open Time Machine. Here, you'll see that it's backing up to the external drive. It's preparing the backup now. This backup may take anywhere from five minutes uh, to two or three hours, depending on the last time you backed up and the amount of data that you have on your workstation. Uh, open up Finder, and we want to eject the disk. Once we've ejected the disk, then we're free to remove this from the workstation. You want to put this into a secure location because it has all of your files and private information on it. Once we're done with this, then what we'll need to do is we'll go ahead and, and shut down the MacBook Pro. And then when we power it back on, we're going to be pressing the Control R, and that's going to give us the boot options to restore and our laptop back to factory reset. 